Denisovans emerged as the premier ancient hominid group discovered solely through genetic evidence, eluding traditional fossil-based identification. Although they belong to the Homo family, a specific species designation eludes them due to the absence of a physical profile. Their name derives from Russia's Denisova Cave, the discovery site of their initial remains. The speculated lifespan of this group, spanning roughly 500,000 to 30,000 years prior, relies on the limited fossil record, genetic data, and sediment examinations. Sediment studies in Denisova Cave suggest Denisovan presence from 300,000 to 50,000 years in the past. Denisovan remnants, found exclusively in Layer 11, are too incomplete for precise dating. However, radiocarbon dating of animal remains within the same stratum points to 50,000 years ago, with the most recent segment of Layer 11 dating back to between 16,000 and 30,000 years ago. Further examination of the layer's microstratigraphy is necessary for definitive dating of both the layer and Denisovan fragments. Genetic analysis positions Denisovans as Neanderthals' genetic kin, diverging roughly 400,000 to 500,000 years ago. Studies indicate that Denisovans and modern Papua New Guineans intermingled approximately 46,000 years back, with evidence suggesting another mixing event around 30,000 years ago and possibly even as recently as 15,000 years ago. While the latest date is contentious, it's plausible that Denisovans persisted until at least 30,000 years ago. To this point, fossil discoveries tied to Denisovans have been isolated to Denisova Cave, nestled in Siberia's Altai Mountains and by Shia Cast Cave on China's Tibetan Plateau. Yet genetic research suggests Denisovans once roamed from the Altai region to Eastern Asia. Their genetic legacy lives on in today's Melanesians and indigenous Australians, indicating Denisovans encountered the forebears of these populations somewhere along southern Asia's expanse. Although Denisovans are classified within the Homo genus, a consensus on their precise scientific name remains elusive. They derive their name from the Denisova Cave in Siberia, the site of their inaugural fossil discovery. Denisova Cave served as a historical crossroads for three human species, Denisovans, Neanderthals, and modern humans. A Neanderthal toe bone, identified through DNA and found in 2010 within layer 11.4 of the cave's east gallery, dated to the same period as a Denisovan finger bone. Neanderthals contributed Mysterian stone tools to the cave's archaeological record, with most items dating back 40,000 years. Additionally, the cave contained advanced stone and bone tools, possibly crafted by Homo sapiens. Determining precise timelines for when these tools and bones were deposited remains challenging, suggesting these species occupied the cave at different times rather than simultaneously. Since the 1970s, Denisova Cave has been the focal point of archaeological digs, with the 21st century heralding groundbreaking discoveries of human remnants that captured global attention. In 2008, the excavation unearthed a diminutive finger bone, labeled Denisova III, from sedimentary layer 11. Given its excellent preservation and age range between 50,000 and 30,000 years old, it was dispatched for genetic analysis. The findings, revealed in 2010, identified the bone as belonging to a female of a previously unidentified archaic human group. Although she bore similarities to both Neanderthals and modern humans, her genetic makeup was sufficiently unique to warrant the identification of a new species. Notably, traces of Neanderthal DNA were found in her bone, suggesting earlier interbreeding between the groups. The unfused growth plate of the finger bone indicated she was between five and seven years old at her time of death. Other notable discoveries within Denisova Cave, all identified via DNA, include Denisova II, a molar discovered in 1984 estimated to be 122,700 to 194,000 years old. Then there was Denisova IV, another molar unearthed in year 2000. Also, Denisova VIII, another molar located in year 2010. Then Denisova XI, a long bone fragment found in 2014 from an individual determined to be a hybrid. Also, Denisova 13, a piece of parietal bone found in year 2016 and announced in 2019 following mitochondrial DNA analysis. The first, and as of 2020, 
the sole Denisovan fossil found outside Denisova Cave, was introduced to the scientific community in May 2019. This mandible, unearthed in 1980 by a Buddhist monk within the Baixia Cast Cave in Gansu, China, was re-examined after decades in storage. Identified through protein analysis, since DNA extraction was unsuccessful, it dates back at least 160,000 years, as determined by uranium series dating of the attached rock. This high-altitude dwelling of the Denisovan, situated 3 to 80 meters above sea level on the Tibetan Plateau, sheds light on the Denisovan genetic contributions to contemporary Tibetans. Each specimen identified as Denisovan has been recognized through protein or DNA analysis, with none classified as such based on morphological traits. Yet it's highly probable that certain unclassified hominin fossils from Asia, including Penghu 1, Dali, and Xuchang 1 and 2, Cranial pieces excavated in Lingjing in 2017 belong to Denisovans. These fossils, however, are not amenable to DNA testing, leaving their connection to known Denisovan remains uncertain. Evidence indicates that Neanderthals, Denisovans, and modern humans either descended from or share a common ancestor with Homo heidelbergensis. DNA data points to this ancestor existing around 600,000 to 750,000 years ago. Consequently, it appears an ancestral population of Homo heidelbergensis departed Africa around this period and soon after divided. One lineage headed northwest into West Asia and Europe, evolving into Neanderthals, while another lineage migrated eastward, giving rise to Denisovans. DNA findings have definitively shown that Neanderthals, Denisovans, and modern humans not only encountered each other, but also interbred, sharing genetic material amongst themselves. For example, current Europeans and Asians carry approximately 1% to 4% of Neanderthal DNA. Similarly, Tibetans, Melanesians, and Australian Aboriginals possess around 3% to 5% Denisovan DNA, a result of interbreeding between Denisovans in eastern Eurasia and the ancestors of these populations as they moved towards Australia and Papua New Guinea. Homo sapiens may have continued interbreeding with Denisovans up until as recently as 15,000 to 30,000 years ago, as suggested by a comprehensive DNA analysis of individuals in Indonesia and Papua New Guinea conducted in 2019. Should these estimations hold true, Denisovans would represent the most recently surviving human species aside from our own. Research also highlights the beneficial aspects of Denisovan DNA in modern humans. A study in 2014 uncovered that ethnic Sherpas likely inherited from Denisovans a gene variant known as EPS1, or the super-athlete gene, which enhances their ability to adapt to high altitudes. A remarkable instance of interspecies breeding was the discovery of a first-generation hybrid between a Neanderthal and a Denisovan identified through a long bone fragment known as Denisovan 11, found in Denisova Cave in 2012. This fossil remained among over 2,000 unidentified bone fragments until 2016, when protein analyses were conducted on many fragments to determine their origins, revealing its unique lineage. The analysis of Denisova 11, eventually identified as a human, was then subjected to more in-depth scrutiny. This fossil belonged to a girl affectionately termed Denny, who was at least 13 years old at her time of death around 90,000 years ago. Published in 2018 to widespread acclaim, Denny's DNA analysis revealed she was a first-generation hybrid born of a Denisovan father and a Neanderthal mother. This groundbreaking genetic research was spearheaded by Svante Paebo and Viviane Slon at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany. Given the scarcity of Denisovan fossils, our understanding of these extinct humans primarily stems from genetic data. Although Denisovans have not been characterized based on physical features yet, certain dental and skeletal traits have been inferred. Denisovan molars are large and lack the specialized traits observed in Neanderthal teeth. These molars feature numerous uncommon cusps and differ significantly from those of modern humans. They do not share any derived morphological characteristics with either Neanderthals or modern humans, underscoring a separate evolutionary trajectory for Denisovans. The Shiyahi mandible, discovered in Tibet, is robust and shorter compared to Neanderthal jaws, suggesting another distinctive physical attribute of Denisovans. Although numerous artifacts have been retrieved from Denisova Cave, 
None have been definitively linked to the Denisovans, complicating efforts to delineate their cultural identity. Despite this absence of direct associations, it's reasonable to infer that Denisovans possessed a considerable level of intelligence and shared a lifestyle akin to contemporary human groups of their era. This assumption is supported by the mere fact of their survival and adaptation to diverse environments, as well as the sophisticated nature of some artifacts found within the same layers as Denisovan remains, suggesting a complex behavioral and technological capability. The discovery of Denisovans and the widespread presence of their genes in modern Asian populations represent a monumental shift in our understanding of human evolution and migration patterns. This revelation has not only expanded the narrative of hominin diversity, but also underscored the intricate web of interactions between different human species over tens of thousands of years. Firstly, the identification of Denisovans through genetic analysis rather than physical fossils marked a groundbreaking moment in paleoanthropology. It showcased the power of genetic tools in uncovering our past, revealing a previously unknown group that contributed to the genetic mosaic of modern humans. The Denisovan genome, extracted from a tiny finger bone and other fragmentary remains, illuminated the existence of of a distinct lineage that once roamed vast stretches of Asia. The widespread distribution of Denisovan genes in modern populations, particularly among Tibetans, Melanesians, and indigenous Australians, highlights the significant impact of Denisovans on human adaptation and diversity. For instance, the Denisovan contribution to the Tibetan genome includes genes that facilitate survival at high altitudes showcasing a remarkable example of genetic adaptation passed from ancient hominins to modern humans. This not only illustrates the direct influence of Denisovans on the physiological capabilities of certain human populations, but also reflects the broader theme of interbreeding and gene flow among human species. Moreover, the presence of Denisovan genes across a wide geographic area suggests extensive movement and interaction among ancient human groups. It challenges previous models of human evolution that were more linear and isolated, replacing them with a dynamic interplay of migration, adaptation, and interbreeding. Lastly, the discovery of Denisovans has opened new avenues for research into human history, disease resistance, and adaptation. By studying the genetic contributions of Denisovans to modern humans, Scientists can gain insights into how ancient genes influence current human health, disease susceptibility, and physiological traits. The fact that we know so little about a human species whose genes are widespread in the current population makes it imperative to study their remains more vigorously. Denisovans, representing a group within the Homo genus that went extinct, provide a unique insight into human evolution. Understanding where and how they impacted present-day humans would be of immense value. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.